Hello, everyone. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control, which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome everyone once again to Angel Healing House Radio with myself, Claire Candy Hoff, and happy Mercury retrograde finally moving forward. (laughs) Woohoo! As of this past Sunday, April 15th, after three weeks being the planet of communication, being in its shadow phase. But remember, that the big old planet of Mercury does not suddenly do a 180 degree and flip around and start to speed forward. It could take at least a week, 10 days, maybe by the end of the week, the end of the month of April to get out of its shadow phase uh, for us to clearly see some of those signs on how we can take inspired action once again with our projects and our endeavors and intentions. Now, on last week's show, the Posse of Angels, my angelic family, shared with us a bit of a checklist to review as we find ourselves at the end of this Mercury retrograde, and their valuable advice is really worth repeating this week. Number one, with Mercury going forward, trust in what is coming in for you. Remember, you co-created with God what will be manifesting for your greatest good and certainly for the greatest good of all concerned. Please, don't get caught up in what hasn't shown up for you yet. Remember that we, as spiritual beings having a human experience, we're all on a need-to-know basis. And if it has not arrived for you yet, whatever that uh, wish or desire of yours, it's not the divine timing for it to come in. And please do remember, God did not forget you and your prayers. Really important to keep believing because your imagination and belief and the energy that you have around those two things are two of the most powerful things that you have. And with the new moon in Aries, which just happened a couple of days ago, it's heralding a double whammy of new beginning energies. So please do mentally or emotionally, you can even get yourself ready spiritually and physically, Get yourself ready for change because change is definitely on the horizon for so many of us. And whether that change shows shows itself as a career move, as in a new job, an opportunity to move locations or travel or even to experience just the right connection, magically manifesting to help your dreams and your projects take off, 
the forward moving energy after this Mercury retrograde is really getting us ready for the possibility of that happen. Now, I do use the word possibility of the new manifesting because A, our vibrational frequency must be of the same matching energy as that of the universe, which is high and free and clear of expectations. And B, we have to be open to receive without any restrictions around attachment. So we have to let go of all the shoulds and the have tos and the ought tos or the things that we expected to happen in order to receive the most miraculous, limitless, unrestricted possibilities uh, that the universe can send us. But the Posse of Angels wishes to assure us that by surrendering our expectations and opening to receive, the universe can applaud our courage and it can reward us with the new coming in. You know, with it being tax time here in the States, we are continuing with the theme of this month, which is, of course, tax time. The theme is abundance. And the Posse of Angels entitled today's show, Make a Life instead of making a living. In one month's time, everyone, the Posse of Angels and I will be celebrating the 15th year anniversary of my extraordinary business, Angel Healing House. And I truly, truly do not exaggerate when I use that word extraordinary to explain my past 15 years. Now, come to think of it, If you're going to call your business Angel Healing House, I guess one can expect a couple of miracles along the way. You know, it's often at milestones in our lives that we take a look back and we review the path along the journey that we follow. And many times, business assesses its success solely on the financial bottom line. You know, how much is the money, how much is the business making? Yet looking back on the past 15 years, the richness and abundance that I've received from my business and the incredible life's lessons that it has presented to me has added so much more to the wealth of my life than money ever could. My business has given me opportunities to give of my time, to give of my heart, my compassion, and my unconditional love and what has come back to me has been miraculous and much more valuable than gold. People tell you all kinds of advice when you start a business. They say, make sure you keep accounts, act professional, be responsible, trustworthy and reliable. But the best business advice I ever received was from my father who told me, whatever you do, If you decide to give, give purely, give openly and generously, and do give with all of your heart. And remember that the gift is in the giving, as giving is a gift that you give to yourself. And some of the most miraculous results from my giving brought gifts that I could never, ever have imagined. Like this testimonial I received, my daughter started seeing candy after a year of fighting cancer. In four sessions, candy's beautiful words and comforting presence helped my daughter let go of all of her anger, bitterness, and regret inside of her. Candy helped my daughter cross over with peace and dignity and the knowledge that she would be returning To God and her angels, I can't thank you enough for bringing my daughter finally back to peace once more. And that's from her mother, Gwen, in Culver City, California. And how about this testimonial? You have done more for me than you could possibly ever imagine. I now can love my children again. And that's from Therese in Coolum, Australia. You know, everyone, they say that when the student is ready, the master appears. Yet I've always taught my Reiki students that everyone, and I do mean everyone who you encounter in life, is your master teacher. So you better pay attention. And the people that I have drawn to myself have allowed me 
to open opportunities, to give love like I never thought possible. Like this client who wrote, I went to Candy because I was recovering from cancer and needed help to release emotional blockages. My sessions with her have been the most loving and caring experience in my life, and I continue to receive benefits from ongoing sessions. I can honestly say that at the age of 76 years, because of my meeting with Candy, it was the first time in my whole life that I was truly able to feel and experience love. Candy is a gift with love and gratitude, and that comes from M in Pacific Grove, California. You know, everyone, by giving with all my heart and truly believing in the divinity of all people, no matter what they've done, I have reignited a spark of hope in others for them to choose to heal themselves. That's right. They chose to heal themselves. In fact, I vowed from day one of my business that I would never, ever use the word healer on anything associated with Angel Healing House because I am not the healer. It is the client's reconnection to God and recognition of fully loving themselves and connecting to their divine, eternal nature within that opens the door for true healing to begin. As a healing practitioner, sure, I help them, but ultimately the client gets to make the choice to heal or not to heal. There is a saying, we teach best what we need to learn most. You know, everyone, 15 years ago, because of my finally learning to love myself, by finally connecting with the divinity, my divine eternal nature within, and creating heaven on earth, I then went forth to help others love themselves and create their own heavens. My business has been successful because ultimately I chose to make a life instead of making a living. You know what? In choosing to make a life, I chose to do what makes my heart sing and what brings me the greatest joy. When one makes a life, instead of making a living, one does not compromise what breathes life into one's soul simply for the money. One begins to understand that our joy and our fruition and what we do is an integral puzzle piece of the planet. That's how important it is. Making a life, the natural offshoot of that, is to be joyful and to set your soul free to fly, creating limitless possibilities. If one puts their emphasis on making a a living instead of making a life, the emphasis is off creativity, and the universe actually reads this as coming from lack and scarcity, which will only bring to us more lack. Making a living reminded me of a client whose father had grown up during the Depression, and he continually told his daughter to find a good, secure job and then hold on to that job forever, for one never knew if they would ever get another job. This client, June, not her real name, but let's call her June, June took a governmental job that was secure and one which she absolutely hated, She also shared with me that her relationships really never worked out, they were very disappointing, and that she didn't particularly like where she lived. So there wasn't really one area of her life that wasn't affected by this dissatisfaction and sadness inside. You know, the Posse of Angels were very quick to share that the energies that one chooses to perpetuate is creating our realities, which reflects and mirrors what is inside of each one of us. When I asked this client what she did to make, to make a life for herself, she replied nothing. When I asked her what she loved doing, she did not hesitate. And immediately she said that she absolutely loved to cook. 
the posse of angels got me very excited and showed me uh, the uh, front cover of the charming movie Julie and Julia. Now, for those who may not have seen this beautiful movie, it's about a young woman who absolutely adored to cook and decides to take Julia Child's book, The Joy of Cooking, and make 365 recipes in one year. She then blogs about it. Her passion and creativity become a best-selling book and movie. I, I suggested that by sharing her passion and her enthusiasm for cooking and baking, that she would switch her stagnant and rather blah <laughs> energies within to abundant and excited and sparkling energies. And she could even start a newsletter, you know, and in the newsletter, she could do a 365 day a year cooking calendar, cooking for the holidays, cooking for birthdays, baking for weddings, uh, cooking for anniversary parties, cooking for children's parties, get people to write in their own recipes and lots of etc. You know, I then stopped myself and said, well, June, how does this all sound? Suddenly, there was a complete change in her energies. She became animated, she became brighter, and she became excited. She thanked me as the blah energies inside of her began to shift. And she could not wait to get started to create and make a life for herself. I told her that this new and excited energy would start building up and send out excited and passionate energies to the universe that would magically and synchronistically draw opportunities and connections to expand and cooking. Now, the posse of angels added that with these new, excitable energies, she would draw very different relationships to herself. Someone who was bright, excited, and passionate. Excuse the expression, but it did sound to me like a great recipe for love. Now, there is a footnote here. June began to take inspired action, and she started what became a very successful blog and newsletter on cooking and baking. She started baking at nights, and on the weekends, she used her dormant creativity by coming up with unique packaging and then took her baked goods to different cafes in the area to see if they would sell them. And she had many who were thrilled to feature her baked goods. Well, the demand quickly increased, and she simply had no time left for her governmental job and she happily left to go cook and bake to her heart's delight. You know, everybody, one of the greatest lessons that I've learned from making a life instead of merely making a living, and I know that I'm not alone here, was to practice the art of allowance. After I prayed and wished and intended for things to happen, I finally learned to let go of how and when those intentions and dreams would be answered. And I began accepting exactly what turned up in my life. In this one seemingly simple act, I let go of control, I let go, I let go of worry and stressing as I took my focus off of ex expectations and I put it on living. I put it on creating a life. This is because God and the angels are masters of dealing with the details of our lives, which is, as I've always said, the how and the when of our lives working out. They don't get ex uh, distracted by egos and physical limitations uh, and little things by having enough money or green units, as I call them, here in the States, but they deal in the realm of the limitless. They deal in the realm of miraculous answers to our prayers. And the posse of angels are telling me that although we may not like to hear it, we stop our prayers from being answered by putting restrictions 
limitations, and expectations on how our lives should, there's that word should again, should be working out. We live in the most remarkable, giving, and abundant universe whose only job is to see that our prayers are answered because I've often said the universe desires exactly what we desire. But this can only happen if we open to receive and allow the universe to give to us in the perfect way that it chooses to answer our prayers. My life totally changed 15 years ago in 2003 as when I chose to make a life for myself and affirm and thank God for my divine and heavenly life. When I made that decision from one day to the next, I affirmed, thank you for my heavenly life, although my finances had not changed. I still had not found my cherished love. And in every way, my circumstances remained the same. But it was my focus. I decided to focus on and announce to the universe with joy in my heart how blessed I was for my extraordinary life that I was consciously making and co-creating with God. And it was nine months later after I started decreeing how heavenly, absolutely heavenly my life was just the way it was that I went to a come as your favorite rock star party and I was that I was invited to I dressed up as Stevie Nicks I met the only Elvis at the party and five days later he asked to marry me two months later on November 15th that was 2003 my twin flame Pete and I were wed on the gorgeous white sands of Noosa Heads Beach in on the Sunshine Coast of Australia And we have been creating our heaven on earth life ever since then. You can read or listen more to our miraculous story of how we met in my number one Amazon international best-selling book and this and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In. If you would prefer to listen to the book, the book has been uh, recently released on audible.com. So you can purchase it on Amazon or go directly to audible.com to buy this and find out more of that inspirational meeting of Candy and Pete, Twin Flames. And you know, everyone, the funny thing is that when one is set on making a life, one feels so gosh darned abundant that the universe sends more abundance, like attracts like, to you, and it looks after the making a living. So look at your life and see if you are creating and making a life instead of simply making a living. You know, I've heard from many listeners and viewers that they really are enjoying the added messages when the, uh, uh, of the uh, animal cards that I've been drawing. And uh, this week was no different. When I was shuffling the cards, I felt a really strong, solid, uh, steadfast energy emerging. And who should come butting his way in but we have RAM today. With so many in the collective consciousness anticipating change manifesting in their lives, RAM's energy is one of breakthrough. Okay, as if we are breaking through to our dreams. RAM's powerful energies, they represent connection, rootedness, stability, as many of us now have the ability to overcome any illusion of obstacles to achieve our dreams. This forthright energy will help us all to find the inner strength to succeed as Ram is aiding us in grounding our dreams into reality. He's reminding us that by continuing to attend to our daily lives and showing up in integrity in the present moment, which is all we have, and also keeping our future goals and dreams alive with our faith and trust, each one of us will be ram tough to be able to reach our goals and discover a feeling of coming home. Now, there is a caution with the ram card here. 
um, it is is that there may be a situation in which you feel like you're perhaps locking horns with someone. Um, you know, uh, you might have come to a stalemate and there may be need for compromise or sacrifice in order to experience forward movement in your life. Rather than keeping on butting our heads against something or someone, try going around it. Try uh, for compromise. Ram is such a grounded energy that it would serve us best to keep asking ourselves, what makes me feel completely at home? We can ask this for our relationships, What makes me completely at home with my relationships, with uh, my work, with my health, with my self-esteem, whatever it is. And no matter what that answer is, allow your intuition and deep heart feelings to align with your practical grounded nature to create a home and to make a life that is truly comfortable for you. So thank you, Ram. (laughs) <laughs> off he goes thank you Ram for coming in with your message you have been listening to me Claire Candy Hoff on Angel Healing House Radio we are going to take a quick break and then when we come back we have some callers lined up for those free angel readings those free channeled messages from myself and my angelic family the Posse of Angels so don't go away and uh, we'll be right back after this short break Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Huff's Heaven Sent Guided Angel Meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies nourishing and revitalizing you take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release this wonderfully narrated cd provides vivid visualization soothing and inspiring music and an angel's choir that will bring you peace clarity and a newfound awareness visit angelhealinghouse.com today to see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, Angelic Walk-In Angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit Angel Healing House. everyone. You're back with me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio. Remember that Angel Healing House Radio airs every week on Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on this lovely home of Transformation Talk Radio. And we have been uh, speaking about making a life uh, instead of merely making a living, you know, with the uh, conscious collective those are awakened and enlightened. Uh, they realize uh, that they no longer have to compromise and settle for anything less when it comes to their abundance in their life. Um, they turn the mirror back on themselves, and instead of getting their abundance from the external world, um, they generate that from being now in these fifth dimensional energies and higher. So let's go to our callers and see if they are making a life instead of just merely making a living. Let's go to our first caller who is Mandy and she's from Edmonds, Washington. Hello Mandy, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for taking my call. You're very welcome. Do you find that you make a life instead of merely making a living? Well, I'm starting to. Um, my question has to do with exactly that. 
I um, have spent the last 13 years with chronic fatigue syndrome, and I've been housebound, and I haven't been able to live my dreams, which is to become a spiritual intuitive teacher and show people how to live from a higher perspective. And um, basically what I did with these 13 years is I studied. I studied spiritual growth and spirituality and uh, how to speak out in public and everything like that. And um, it was a pretty tough 13 years. And then suddenly I turned to gratitude and I told God that I was very grateful for the chronic fatigue syndrome and I told him the reasons why. And I started to feel a lot better. And I started to feel that I could actually move forward on my journey of wanting to have a career. And then I started out, and now the chronic fatigue is starting to linger again. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if you had any uh, messages for me about why it's lingering, because I feel like I'm ready to run forward. Okay. Um, Yes. Uh, They want to applaud you. Uh, for uh, applying those 13 years. Um, the chronic fatigue, uh, the, the, emotional, um, the emotional reason for the chronic fatigue is, uh, in this case, is that fear, is that deep fear of moving forward. Now, the, the Posse of Angels said they don't want to go into specifics, but they want you to know that you have been destroyed uh, in former lifetimes, in former incarnations, uh, because you were um, speaking um, about um, spiritual issues. You know, uh, many of us, like myself, um, uh, I write about in my book, One True Home, uh, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, about my life as a Scottish healer, and the church had me burnt at the stake uh, for empowering people. Um, And there's this underlying etheric thread of this fear coming up. And the Posse of Angels do want to tell you, Mandy, that we have been promised in this lifetime that this will not happen. You know, we can see this in so many platforms, in so many websites, you know, in so many people doing tarot readings, coming out and and different channelers and and different things that uh, we have uh, increased in number on the planet and... um, you know, and to to voice who we are and help those who are just uh, uh, waking up now and uh, and and need the uh, the encouragement to uh, to be their own light. So that's one of the uh, the things that was coming up when you were speaking about uh, being the spiritual t- teacher. Um, when you started to be in gratitude for the way things um, uh, were or are, um, that that vibrational frequency started to um, not only alleviate the chronic fatigue, but those increased positive bright energies started to transmute uh, those energies of I can't. And and even if you were housebound, you still could be the spiritual teacher. Heck, I mean, for the last well, you know, I think five years uh, because of the um, accessibility of the internet, um, I would say at least 60 to 65 percent of my clients I service internationally through distant healing and uh, through Skype and FaceTime and Zoom and all of these other platforms. So um, you don't have to go out per se um, uh, in order to be um, an effective spiritual teacher. So they want you to to know that uh, there is this last remaining little bit of fear there. And the way you can transmute that is by saying, I am always safe. I am always guided. I am always guarded and protected. Um, And just to follow your intuition um, and to really take that way down deep in your heart and know that uh, that you would not been have been given these spiritual gifts, these abilities and talents for them to go nowhere. Um, and the world oh, is this so sweet. The posse of angels are saying, we need you, Mandy. We need you because you are such an integral puzzle piece of the planet to help others to shift and to awaken. And um, if, if it wasn't important to do 
what you are going to do and what you have been doing, then you wouldn't have been gifted with these abilities. So let's go to the cards and see what comes out. Incredible. You are at the, you know, sweetheart, you are on the tail end. They're saying, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like the last, it's, oh, the, you can do this great exercise of, I don't know if you've ever done uh, cutting of the cords. Have you any, ever done exercises where you cut the cords, the etheric threads attached to something? I've had some experience with that, yes. Okay. Now, what they want you to do is, be, oh, they're saying you can, you can so do this. They want, they want you to light a candle or not or sit in quiet, and they want you to bring in your higher self, and they want you to ask your higher self uh, to show you a particular lifetime in which you were destroyed for your spiritual gifts. And, you know, you might see yourself wearing, um, you know, visualize yourself say, uh, wearing a, a long dress, perhaps um, a veil, perhaps, you know, that will give you some clue as to the surroundings. It might be a medieval castle, um, uh, like myself, you know, um, or, or living in, in Scotland at that time or wherever. Um, and just get an impression of, you know, whether you were thrown off a tower or whether you were drowned or myself <laughs> being burned at the stake, you know, it, it, whatever that impression is. And then call in Archangel Michael and, and then see where those etheric cords are connected from that lifetime to you. Um, an etheric thread or a ribbon or a cord. Um, it could be... Um, coming from that lifetime and binding your hands. It could be binding your feet. It could be, you know, masking the third eye or the pineal gland or, you know, um, connected to your heart, closing your heart down to yourself. Um, and then when you call in Archangel Michael, you can grab his sword and then raise it above your head and say, I, I completely, because is so enormously powerful. I completely am cutting any etheric threads that link my energies to this past lifetime and being in fear and bring those bring that sword down across those energies connecting you to that lifetime and then blessing blessing the contrast it showed you um, to bring um, those energies back into divine alignment. And I think that will help enormously by, by you um, having the courage to say, this is not going to happen in this lifetime. That was before, but this doesn't, um, you know, have anything to do with me being the spiritual teacher now. Let's go to the cards and see what comes out for our very powerful Mandy. Oh my gosh, the first card is the Three of Cups. That's a celebration card. You should celebrate. You I should celebrate. I know you should celebrate who you are and that and and keep saying thank you. Thank you now that I've completely decided to step forward in faith that I am completely safe um, in who I am and representing that. I am celebrating the opportunities and connections that are coming in for me. The second card for you is... Uh, this one, oh my gosh, this is the temperance card. Um, it's going to bring your life back into balance. That's what's going to happen. You're going to feel like uh, not only your health will improve, but you'll feel like all areas of your life will come back into balance because you'll feel authentic as you step forth and, uh, and encompass all areas of yourself. And the next card is the nine of wands. Well, the nines certainly are about um, uh, about completion, and the nines uh, are this one in particular. The nines of one nine of wands is about you know having gone through the battles and your chronic fatigue. You know we all hang on to our dis dis ease in the body because it's there to teach us something, and you have learned so much from it as a spiritual teacher, so that you can go on to be of help to others who have uh, similar issues and, uh, and, you know, maybe their challenges and struggles are helping them to build the character that they need to go on to help others in the future. So I hope that's been helpful for you, sweetheart. 
Oh, it has. Thank you so much. And um, I just wanted to tell you, I love your meditation CD. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've had... Uh, the best. I've had oh, isn't that lovely? That's very sweet. Thank you, Mandy. You know, um, it... Uh, it, it provides, for those who haven't listened to my guided meditation CD, it does take, pe- it does take people on a, a bit of a journey with the angels, and uh, they come to certain points um, along the path, uh, which is blocked because of their energies around relationships, money, um, self-worth, health issues, and then by giving these over to the angels, our concerns the rock wall starts to um, starts to uh, diminish and disappear so we can then go freely along the path with ease and grace. So thank you for um, mentioning my lovely CD. I'm wishing you so many love, so much love and angel blessings. Have a beautiful day, Mandy. Take care. Thank you. Love to you. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you so much, Mandy. And that goes for all of us. Please, if you do feel like some fear is coming up as you are stepping forth and and stepping into your authentic self as that spiritual teacher, take some time. Take some time to uh, quiet yourself down. Call in your higher self. Call in your angels, your protection and your guidance and say, show me. Show me where perhaps that I was destroyed in a past lifetime uh, for speaking about, um, sharing with others um, the, uh, the extraordinary spiritual knowledge that each one of us has um, and uh, show me where that perhaps that event is uh, stopping me from stepping forward in this lifetime. Let's go to our next caller. We have Stephanie in New York. Stephanie, you're on the line with Angel Healing House Radio and Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today? Hi. How are you? I'm good. What is, what been, is ha- um, happening? I really, I felt like I got a lot out of that last caller, by the way, because I have similar fears. Um, I think, or similar, you know, where I feel very drawn to do something like be a spiritual teacher here, but also I'm very tired a lot of the time. And also have fear come up a lot around putting myself out there. Right. I'm always sort of amazed and surprised when other people do it, especially when they do it with very little knowledge or you know like they take one little course and then they're like putting themselves out there as an expert and I maybe have more experience and I'm still terrified um it, and, and Stephanie, it yeah. has it has nothing yeah. to do. It has nothing to do with certification. It has nothing to do with diplomas. It has nothing to do with degrees. It has to do with the excitement in these fifth dimensional energies. It has to do with the excitement, the enthusiasm, and the passion you have for creating, and then. And then by creating and being like a kid and so excited about what you create, then the universe sends you the opportunities and connections to share that with more people. Um, uh, that's the way that I started my radio program seven years ago because the angels saw how how gosh darn excited I was about all of this stuff and the books I'd created and my meditation CD and and they said well why not send it out to a much wider platform and I've told that uh, story I won't go into it now how it was so miraculous how I got on the radio and every time I wiggle with excitement before my program because I love I love the feedback and the the connection that I have with people and what it gives them. So um, never once did I ever think about, you know, uh, comparing or competing with others, you know, like others have more certification or they have more modalities that they learned or or they studied with with so-and-so. That doesn't have anything to do with my enthusiasm and my passion for creating. And the more you create with passion, the less... The, the more fear just it rescinds into your periphery. Fear is always there, but 
the amount of fear and whether whether it's um, you know tangible is how much energy you give to it. And I'm just so excited about my projects and and doing what I love doing that fear just rescinds back to the uh, to my periphery, and I can't even feel it. I can't even see it anymore. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but and I didn't mean in a competitive way, but I mean I'll just sort of observe, like, wow, where do they get that confidence or that courage from, and how come I don't have it? Like that type of a thing, where it's like. You know, just sort of, um, I don't know, maybe confused or, you know, like wondering, like, why is that missing within me? Um, well, or, it actually, know, actually, it's, it's not. It's so it's, natural. Yeah, it's because, because we have practiced this. I wasn't this natural when I started seven years ago on, on, on radio. You know, that's the thing with making uh, things look easy. Because there's so much that goes into it, you know, uh, practicing, you know, uh, reading the channel before I come on, um, you know, um, if something looks easy, it's because that put, person has put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it, um, and it means a lot to them. And so, uh, don't, again... I'm not Maybe I'm not being clear. <laughs> I mean, like, what looks easy is that courage. Just be like, oh, yeah, I could do that. You know what I mean? Like, it. Like I've met people like that, yeah. and they're just like, they'll totally go, like, full steam ahead. Right. And I, I'm not doing that at all. I'm not, I'm, like, not even really tipping, putting a toe in. I'm, like, so frozen. Right. And, and, other and it doesn't. Are, and, are, and it's. Uh, like it's confusing. Like, how are they able to just well, have the reason, that? Okay, the reason like, oh, I can do this. Definitely, the reason that they're doing it is is very simple. Is because they're choosing to do it. That's it. It doesn't get any more convoluted than that. They have, they decide have like you have free, and they say they might be so fearful. And so scared about, let's say, speaking in public or presenting themselves. I mean, to put, for instance, to put my face on I am an angelic walk-in and to put myself, to put myself out in this way, I don't, I don't really uh, p put a lot of emphasis on what people think. Uh, all I do is I show up authentically and honestly. So is so... Sweetheart, it's simply a matter of deciding to do it or not to do it. And that's all it takes. Let's go to the cards with only a few minutes left and see what comes out for our lovely Stephanie. But, um, you know, they, the difference is that they have made the decision to make that choice to do it. And then, and then you know, uh, all we have is the present moment. And what we do in the present moment affects our future. So every time they have the courage to, um, um, you know, sort of um, act, take inspired action, then the universe will send us different opportunities to uh, have more, oppor you know, opportunities and connections to do what we love doing. And then things will grow from there and they will expand and, uh, and we will be able to, uh, you know, um, then see the fruits of our labors. The first card that's coming out for you is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, out of all of the queens, is the queen that takes action. So, they're saying, feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. If you need to, you know, go into some of your past lives or see where you've been destroyed before or, you know, you have this... Uh, this thing that's holding you back, they want you to know that underneath your fear, you are the queen of wands. She's fiery, she's determined, she has a great deal of courage. Um, and that's who she is, and that's the way um, to get to the other side of your dreams and your wishes coming true, this is the action that you need to take. Um, next card that's coming out for you is the seven of... Swords and the Seven of Swords a lot of times is the betrayal card, and they're saying that you are oh. betraying you are betraying your uh, 
yourself when you hold yourself back because there's a side of you that is sabotaging uh, your role as that spiritual teacher in whatever form that comes out as. Um, uh, and then you really feel as if, you know, um, you've betrayed yourself. So they're saying, take note of this, don't be upset by it, but then uh, ask, um, the, ask the universe, ask God and the angels to send you those signs, how you can be and step forward and be more of that spiritual teacher. And what will happen is then the chariot. And then you will have that movement in your life and in order for you to be recognized as that uh, that spiritual teacher. So I hope that's all been helpful for you. Uh, feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. Thank you so much, Thank Stephanie. You. Have a lovely day. Bye. And that goes for all of us. You know, um, we may be fearful about stepping up and speaking our truth and, uh, and what is most truthful for each and every one of us, but we can no longer live a life. We can no longer make a life or live a life by doing anything less than what is uh, authentic, honest, open, and transparent. And remember, we do not do this. We do not do this to change anybody else because we can't control anything um, outside of ourselves. We can, only, we can only show up as authentically and honestly, openly and transparently as we possibly can. And that's making a life. Let's go to and have uh, with a, just a few minutes left, let's go to our e-cards and see what comes out and add an extra message for this week. Remember that we are in the new moon in Aries and a lot of people say that Aries is the first sign of the zodiac with it this um, season of rebirth and spring coming up um, and so this is the newness of the new year in many cultures um, and, uh, and with that and the new moon and Mercury moving forward, man, all you got to do is take that creative energy and fly with it. Do not hold yourself back because the energies are supporting us moving forward. Um, let's, oh, <laughs> isn't, isn't this cute? They, we have two cards that came up, pick up after yourself and this one, free fall. And let's read both. We have this one, 34, is the blame game is over. It's time to realize that the only person who can affect you in any way is you. I just spoke about that with our free will. Within your own mind is the answer to every question and the power to accomplish absolutely anything. Take charge, be accountable, and let's do this thing. So I'm not surprised that this card is pick up after yourself. And if you decide to be the spiritual teacher, go forth and do it in the most creative and the most fun and passionate way that you possibly can be. Remember, nobody else has your fingerprints. There is no competition. And the other one we got was free falling, which is it doesn't get much better than this. Deep radical trust that appearance, appearances mean nothing and that you and only you are the captain of your ship. What you says what you say goes. You are in unrestrained motion and unseen forces are waiting for your command. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for listening, supporting, re and referring and recommending my Angel Healing House radio program. Um, I would love to speak with you again next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, do remember that to go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. If you'd like to check out my angel, um, guided angel meditation CD, Letting Go of Concerns and Living in the ne Now, or any one of my books, Angels of Faith, One True Home, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, and of course, my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, please go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. 
Again, love and as always, angel blessings. And I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.